A false notion of manliness leads boys astray. True manliness is humane. It says, we who are strong are to bear the infirmities of the weak. Its work is to protect those who cannot defend themselves, to stand between the tyrant and the slave, the oppressor and his victim. It is identical in all times with the spirit of chivalry, which led the good knights to wander in search of robbers, giants, and tyrannical lords. Those who oppressed the poor and robbed helpless women and orphans of their rights. The true knights today are those who organize to prevent cruelty or to enforce laws against those who for a little gain make men drunkards. True manliness is tender and loving. False manliness cold and hard, cynical and contemptuous. The bravest and most heroic souls are usually the most loving. Gustavus, Aldolphus, and William of Orange are examples of this union of courage and tenderness. Bold as lions in the defense of the right, such men in their homes and their private life have a womanly gentleness. False manliness is unfeeling, with no kindly sympathies, rude and rough and overbearing. True manliness is temperate. It is moderate. It exercises self-control. It is capable of self-denial and renunciation. False manliness is self-willed and self-indulgent. Let's hear it one more time for NG412, Toxic Masculinity.